Okay, I've gotten a couple requests uh, to show the trigger on the SIG P229. Uh, actually request to explain it, but since I'm much better just showing it than I am explaining it, I'll show you here. Once the gun is in single action mode, the trigger is a very short trigger. It's way back towards the grip handle. Pull the trigger, single action. The question was how far does it reset on each single action shot? Well there I've reset the slide, so I will release the trigger here and let you see the reset. Right there, that's the reset. You can see I can fire again. I'll release the trigger again. That's the reset. Very short. It is not a full all the way out reset. It will do that of course if it's uh, somehow not cocked the hammer, but uh, that's not going to happen when you're shooting in single action. But uh, there it is. That's the uh, short reset on the trigger. Uh, it does not reset all the way like the SIG P250. The SIG P250 resets like that because it's a double action only. But the 220, 229 all have that short reset. And one quick little note, please no emails uh, chastising me for pulling the trigger on a gun. It's unloaded. It's safe. I checked it a couple of times. Dry firing is one of the most important parts of learning how to use a weapon properly. I never understand why so many people on YouTube start sending you nasty emails every time you pull the trigger on a gun. Uh, but that being said, I hope that helps uh, some people who were trying to make their decision on the SIG. Thanks for watching. This has been the Yankee Marshal.